Hey, good morning, everyone. Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. I'm up in North Naples, Florida at Del Norwegans Pass State Park. It's a bit on the chilly side for me. Right now it's, oh, about 39 degrees. Expecting it to get up to 70 later today. Beautiful clear skies. There was frost on the pumpkin this morning when I came out to the car. When I got in the car, it was 37. I had to wait for the frost to melt on the windshield this morning. The water temperature is 66. The tide is just turning, just starting to come back in. I'm up in Area Roy, Area 4, at the north end of the park. The wind has died down finally. That's what was making it bad. You can hear the ospreys and the pine trees behind me. Gotta keep switching off here, switching hands off, holding the gimbal. <laughs> Gorgeous glow there on the horizon. Good morning, Carrie. It's nice to be back on the beach after missing a morning. But I had a great time out at the bird gardens yesterday with John and Carrie. It's a really cool place. The bird gardens of Naples. Put it on your bucket list if you ever come here for a visit. I can hear the dredge going up at Wiggins Pass. Susan, good morning. Harriet, good morning. Barbara, good morning. I don't see a cloud in the sky this morning. It's about 40 degrees right now if you're just tuning in here in North Naples, Florida. Good morning, Daryl. Happy February 1st, everybody.
Good morning, Rose. It is gorgeous. Gorgeous colors. Up. That's right. I skipped the, you know what? I want January to end. <laughs> what was I thinking this morning? That's funny. Don't know why I was thinking only 30 days in January this morning. Oh, go back in time? That would be fun. How far back in time would you want to go if we could go back in time? <laughs> I am cold out here. I am not going to lie to you. This Florida boy is cold. It's warmer down here by the water. Of course, I'm barefoot. <laughs> Kindergarten again, Carrie? You want to go back that far? <laughs> That would be interesting. I know we all have a list of things we would do differently. But who knows what that would lead to. <laughs> Good morning, Jeff. Nineteen sixty six. That's where Rose wants to go back to. Nineteen sixty six. Sherry wants to go back to age twenty. Hmm.
I don't know what age I'd want to go back to or any certain year. The 1980s, oh boy, Mary. <laughs> The 1980s, you don't want to go back to the 70s? The old 70s, what a blast. Yeah, isn't that the truth, Mary? I'm kind of happy where I am. It'd be fun to go back, but... Like I said, who knows what would happen. But it's fun dreaming. Oh, Kevin snuck on here. Man, when I was leaving the bird gardens yesterday afternoon, there was a huge, huge brush fire burning somewhere out in East Naples. I mean, it was huge. The whole southern, the whole southeastern sky was just full of smoke. This is the time of year we get those darn brush fires. It gets really dry in the winter here. Hey, how's everybody feeling today? If something's bothering you or troubling you or hurting you or whatever, if you need some prayers, please don't hesitate in posting your prayer requests in the comments here. Let our beach family know what's up. You don't have to go into a whole bunch of detail, doesn't have to necessarily be prayers for you. It can be prayers for a family member, a friend, even one of your pets. Please pray for our country. Our country definitely needs some prayers right now. Look at this old whelk. Look at this piece of a big old whelk shell. Lightning whelk. Or a Uh, yeah, I think that was a lightning whelk. That would have been a beauty. Still pretty cool looking. Still pretty cool looking. That's a big one.
Hey, Connie, good morning. Todd, good morning, my friend. It's been a while. I saw Kathy and crew there at the front gate this morning, Todd. They're behind me. I think they went up to Area 5. I'm down by the skybox in Area 3. Oh, we had a great interview, John and Carrie. John did a great interview with Carrie out at the Bird Gardens yesterday. I'm going to be working on that today. Hope maybe tomorrow. I don't know if I'll get it all cut together today. It takes a while, but it's a great. It's got a little bit of everything in the interview. You know, taking care. Talks about you know. Carrie talks about feeding your birds, what's good for your birds, what's bad for your birds, her mission. The Bird Gardens is an awesome place. If you didn't figure it out <laughs> yet, they're all about adoption. They're, you know, they rescue, they adopt, they adopt, they take in birds from people that just most of the time the people just can't handle the birds. They get a lot of people don't realize how loud parrots are. When I say birds, it's mostly parrots. How noisy they are, and people don't realize how long they live. A lot of times, parrots will outlive their owners. Very, very common. And then, where do they go? So there's parrot rescue facilities all around the country, and here it's Carrie at the Bird Gardens of Naples. Yesterday, while I was there. Three people came in to adopt birds. That was pretty cool. Three different people were there to adopt a parrot. And she does, she just doesn't turn, just hand the birds over. She does a lot of research before she lets you have the bird. She wants to make sure it's going to a caring and loving home. But it's a great place. If you're in Naples and you want a parrot, you don't want to spend thousands of dollars, go to the Bird Gardens of Naples. And if you just like parrots, go to the Bird Gardens of Naples. Check the place out. Give them a donation. They're just like Kawaiachobi. Time, talent, and treasure whatever you can do if you got some time and you want to volunteer if you're a bird lover volunteer if you got some talents building skills whatever donations very important something quiet Chobi really needs and so does or could use if you want to make an easy donation home depot gift cards home Depot gift cards. They are always need, in need of building supplies. Also, money. Money's number one. Any of your local rescues, make sure it's a reputable organization and it doesn't have to be here. Keep it local. Keep your donations local. Don't send to those big national places you see advertising on TV. Who knows where the money goes? Very little of it gets back to the organization. Support your local zoos and sanctuaries. It is gorgeous out here other than being a little nippy. Just amazingly beautiful. 
So blessed to be out here walking the beach with my friends. Oh, it's beautiful Monday morning. Nobody's swimming out here this morning. <laughs> Hardly seen anybody walking the beach. I've only seen a couple people walking the beach. Very, very quiet this morning. Even on Facebook, it's pretty quiet. Nobody wants to get up on Monday. Hey, morning, Jay. So you guys happy with the football results? Where's the Baconator at? <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> oh, well. Margaret, good morning. It's beautiful out here this morning. Easy walking on the beach this morning. Nice hard sand here. Another one. Oh, your leg's not cold, man. <laughs> Yeah, today. First had that. In the morning. I know we had a beautiful tint this morning, all around. That with that, it was like that pink color early. Pink, yeah. yeah, it was beautiful. Could be a little warmer for me, but other than that, the yeah, thank goodness the wind's dying yeah. down. Yeah, when the wind stops, I feel like I'm immune. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, Phil. <laughs> Oh. oh, Saturday was just downright nasty with the wind out here. Ugh. Yeah, frost this morning. My windshield had a thick coating of frost on it, Margaret. It took me about 10 minutes to get it off there. I finally went in, just got some hot water and poured it on the windshield. It said 37 in the thermometer when I got in my car this morning.
that's cold enough for Florida. And it's colder inland. It was 32 inland. 32 degrees in Immokalee. Put my toes in the water and warm them up. Eugene. Eugene. Yeah. Eugene, yeah? <laughs> Good morning. It is gorgeous, Rose. Yeah, that was quite the game, wasn't it, Todd? Not one cloud in sight here this morning. Look at this. Not one single solitary cloud. Glorious, as Roy would say, absolutely glorious. Hey, good morning, Jackie. Bebe, good morning, Paul. Good morning. If you're liking what you're seeing, send some stars on Facebook. I do appreciate your donations, your tips and donations. The end of the month here and all the bills are due. If you'd like to send a little tip, you can find a link to my PayPal account in the description of this post. And I do thank you in advance. We've got a couple little things on my wish list that I'm trying to save some money up for and it just every time I get a little money saved up something happens it's usually the car breaking down but my big item is a new camera to take some better photos and videos 
I also need some audio equipment. I need a dual mic system for my iPhone so I can have two people on camera when we're doing live feeds like yesterday at the bird gardens with John and Carrie. I need more storage for my computer. I need an expansion port for my USB. All kinds of little goodies. <laughs> As you know, I don't get paid to come out here. I don't get paid to do any of those videos or anything out at Kawaiachobi. That's all volunteer. Out at the bird gardens, it's volunteer. So by supporting me, you guys are kind of supporting them. Okay, thank you. Hey, good. I keep putting them in the water. The water feels real good. <laughs> People are like, why are you barefoot? I'm like, well, that's me. <laughs> Those birds are cool, Margaret. You guys should go out there one one morning for a walk for one of their tours. It takes about an hour, and then you just kind of hang out at the end, and they have an aviary you can walk into. And put the birds on your shoulders if you want, on your arms. Really, really cool. They must have 30 peacocks wandering around that place. Peahens, peacocks, a mixture. Shoeless. <laughs> Shoeless Stan. That's me. I had a pair of shoes on the other day, but I blew the bottoms out. I hadn't worn them for years. I hate wearing shoes. Come out here and they fell apart. I guess they dry rotted. They were sitting out on the front porch for years. My beach shoes. Just about down to the south end of the park. Start moseying back up the beach here. Nancy, good morning. Good morning to you and to Pete. Or 
Corey, good morning. I haven't seen Dexter. Maybe he's up on the high road this morning, up on the sidewalk. Yesterday, Kevin sent me a picture of sleeveless Mike. He had a sweatshirt on yesterday. He actually had a sweatshirt on out here yesterday and he admitted his feet were cold. little breeze still coming out of the north seen too many shells here. The tide's been coming in for about an hour now, a little over an hour. That shell tree was pretty cool, wasn't it? That I got as a gift there. That was from Randy Ferris, Clark Ferris, Randy Moore, Clark Ferris. That was pretty cool. I shared a picture of it a few days ago there. If you scroll down on Facebook to see the photo of Roy's prayer tree. Very thoughtful. Neat gift. Ferris Clark. <laughs> Is it Clark Ferris or Ferris Clark? I always get his name mixed up. Got so many awesome people, so many awesome friends here. Our beach family. I hate mentioning names because I always leave somebody out. Gerald, good morning.
Oh, I see the sun peeking through the trees over here. Just peeking through over here. Still gonna be a little while before it's up and hitting the beach and warming the beach up. Hey Mike, good morning my friend. <laughs> Man, aren't your feet cold? I, I, I want to see if anybody knows who this is. <laughs> you guys know who this is? <laughs> Take a good look. You had one on yesterday, too. You didn't have the mask on, though. <laughs> That's cold. I didn't wear shoes yesterday. I couldn't do it. Yeah, it's cold. I could put my feet in the water. I kept doing that, but my feet, I, could, uh, I got half day and I couldn't feel my feet. Man, it's cool out here. It's cool. I mean, the, the sand was close to me right now. I was okay because I had a sweatshirt on. Right. But my feet couldn't handle it. Yeah. Kevin sent me a picture of you. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah. You believe this, bro? What's, yeah, it's going to be over here. I think we'll get one more. Not this week. I think next week we're supposed to have a little more cold. You ever seen it this cold in Florida? Yeah. It's been, it's been a couple of years, but yeah. And I don't remember it this cold. I remember coming out here with Roy. I mean, I did have shoes on. and Yeah, it gets but got in down. In the 40s and 30s? Yeah, down in the 36s. And I don't remember that. Was, there, we frost on, was there frost on your truck this morning? Uh-uh. No? Do you, do you keep it inside? Keep it in a, it's a car. A garage. Of, yeah. There was frost out in the driveway this morning. Oh, yeah. Here in the park. You know, which blows me away, you know, in Colorado, you got to remove your hoses from your uh, your sockets. Oh. And if you, your spigots, if you don't do that, then it freezes and it makes a mess. So <laughs> I wonder if it did it, uh, people did it here. Yeah, I don't think it's that cold. I, I don't think the water in their car froze. You're talking about in your car? No. Oh, in on your the house. Out of your house. Yeah. You know where the hose hooks up? Oh, yeah. If you don't take that out, I mean, undo the hose... It would uh, split the pipe and really? leak in your house. Huh. But that's if it gets below 32 degrees. Mm. And it did in some areas. There's somebody up in Massachusetts with 20 inches of snow. Oh, I don't miss that. Uh, you miss that? <laughs> <laughs> this stuff here is the only white stuff I want touching my toes. Yeah, I hear you there. <laughs> All right, Mike. Oh, where's, where's your bride? <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, that was Mike, sleeveless Mike, <laughs> in a sweatshirt, in shoes. Gorgeous blue sky, gorgeous. What an awesome way to start the day. Hey, Mike. Thanks, my friend. Thank you for the stars, Mike. A couple folks sent some stars this morning. 300 stars.
Sherry, good morning. How's Bad Bob doing this morning? Oh, I found a nice warm spot in the sand here. I gotta warm up my toes. Ah, feels good. Right now the temperature's down in the low 40s still. Water temperature is around 66. Probably how long have I been on for here with my first live feed? I feel like it's getting close to time to start live feed number two up. Awesome, 48 minutes. I had a feeling it was around 50 minutes. Well, I'm up at the north end of Area 1 now, just crossing over into Area 2. Are you feeling any of that Florida warmth? Is it coming through your screen there? Close your eyes and pretend you're at the beach.
couple of little shells down here, but nothing's really getting my attention here. Some fighting conks. Some little fighting conch shells. I think there's a live one down there. Where's it empty? Let's see if somebody's home here. Nope. It's an empty. It's an empty, beautiful little shell, the little Florida fighting conch. Those fighting conch shells are pretty prevalent here on our beaches in southwest Florida. Beautiful. Well, I think I'm gonna start up my second live feed here, so stay tuned. I shall return. If I don't see you later, have a wonderful, wonderful Monday. Mark, thanks for the stars. Remember, if you like what I do, if you enjoy our time together, I do appreciate your contributions. I do depend on that money to make ends meet every month. Tips. If you'd like to send a tip, that's where I get the biggest bang. Obviously, Facebook takes a percentage of everything. Tips can be sent to my PayPal account, and you can find a link to that in the description of this post. Also, maybe consider becoming a regular monthly supporter of my Southwest Florida Television Facebook page. I'd really like to see that number increase. If that number would increase, I can get rid of these darn ads. to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Anytime you see a video or a photo that you like, give it a like and give it a share. Help spread the word and share the love. Help me spread my mission of bringing awesome people just like you together in the mornings, one beach walk at a time. That's what it is all about. All right, go warm up your coffee, get another donut. Check the news, see what wonderful things are going on around us in the world. <laughs> I'll be back in a few minutes. Hey, until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay strong. Tally ho, my friends, tally ho. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan.
God bless.